when I first went away with the team, I went to um, Laos. And apart from just being blown away by what they were doing, on the second or third day there, they had repaired a cleft lift and pallet on a little girl, about eight or nine months old, let's say. And when they were giving the child back to the mother, in the, in, the mother came to see the child, she just, she couldn't speak, tears going down her eyes, it was just so emotional, the whole thing. And the baby's father said something to me that I didn't understand. I was told afterwards that he said, you've given life to my daughter. That was very emotional and sticks in my memory every day almost. Wonderful. I've seen the evolution of the organisation from one that provides service only to developing into a, a capacity building educational organisation. So our programs have gone from being purely providing services that were lacking in the countries we visited to now trying to educate the locals and improve their local health systems so we don't need to keep going back so they can take over the processes and do the procedures that, that we're doing on their behalf. Well, Rotary support of Interplast and the work that's being achieved is critical. Rotary has been fundamental in this organisation from its beginnings. The organisation has grown and could not have achieved that without Rotary support. Interplast satisfies the six areas of uh, focus for Rotary, established by Rotary International. It satisfies those absolutely. It also gives individual Rotarians the opportunity to connect with a humanitarian service project. Some years ago, Neikawa had a bad encounter with a pot of boiling water. Both hands were severely burnt. During their last visit, the team did some initial work. Her right hand is almost back to normal but there's a need for more work on the still badly disfigured left hand. So the organisation has grown enormously. You know, we've gone from doing a handful of programs to when I joined the board, <clears throat> maybe 18 or 20 programs a year, and now we're, we're getting close to 50 programs a year, of which at least half are educational or capacity building. It started as a program aimed at providing reconstructive services to our, our near neighbours, it's developed into one that provides educational support and capacity building all over the Pacific region. And it has the capacity to provide an awful lot more in healthcare and become a major provider. The volunteers are just incredible people, the time they give. And it's just a wonderful combination of people that make it all happen. It never ceases to amaze me. Neikawa had surgery on her burnt hand just after the team arrived and now, six days later, she's returned for further treatment. Okay, this child had a very bad burn contracture and we put in a number of grafts and released the fingers and all the grafts have taken very well. This was just a week ago, so we're just doing a dressing change and now the child will have a functioning hand. The good thing about children is that they're like rubber and you can release their contractures and they come out nicely. Yes, we've had lots of these this trip. Yeah, we've had probably half a dozen of mm. different types of severe burns that weren't, weren't well managed primarily, so the wounds have healed what we call by secondary intention. All the fingers were fused together and we've released it all and now we've got that. So. But if they had proper primary care, of course, you would need to do the secondary surgery and the results would be much better. Any individual person, club, group or district can hold a fundraising activity for Interplast and we will do whatever we can to support them, do a good job of that. Rotarians are 
in my experience, people who want to make changes in the world but they don't always know how to do it. I think Rotary support uh, is, uh, is critical to Interplus success because it's about partnerships and it's about using the skills and the um, vision of people and partnerships as broadly as we possibly can. I am inspired by building on the work that Rotary started with Interplus uh, in what has to be one of the best partnerships Rotary ever started. Interplus is growing at quite a huge rate actually every year and I think more than ever it needs Rotary behind it not just for its guidance but also we have so many clubs within Rotary that give just a little to Interplus. If they could just, just give that little bit more, the difference it would be, make would be huge. Without that ongoing support, this organisation would not have reached the point where it is, probably would have fallen over a long time ago. So thank you very much Rotary, Rotary International and all Rotarians for the incredible support you provided to this worthwhile organisation.